Hello everyone, Will again here and today on the farm we are going to be weighing the lambs in the flock. So the lambs are coming up to eight weeks old so it's their second time to be weighed. So basically what we're going to be doing today is using the new True Test Easy Way 7i that we've got from True Test. So I can't wait to use that, it's going to be really exciting and after that we're actually going to be foot bathing too. So if you enjoy it today guys, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, please smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Cheers, guys. Right guys, so first job of the day is we're going to connect them all up through Bluetooth. So basically the way head here, it's got Bluetooth and it goes onto my phone and then it connects to the stick reader. So first things first, I'll whack the screen of my phone on now and we'll get to it. Right, so first job is to go onto the app, which is the Stop Move app, which is the one I use all the time, going to sheet, add weights, just like I normally would. But here at the top corner, there's crosses. So the first thing to do is get the way head connected. So it's a true test way head. And then we just got to wait until it finds the Bluetooth. It can take a while by what I found yesterday, but once it's on, it's all connected and sorted up. So we just give that a wait. Right, so that's up there. So basically now we click easy wait and this connects Bluetooth to the way head. So we're just waiting for that to connect now. And that's done. So we just press allow and it takes us over to the true test website. We click connect to the easy way and that is it sorted. First of all, now we've got to start a new session on the easy way. So you go enter on sessions, start new. And then we're basically starting weighing guys. So we'll get the first one in and we'll get cracking. So guys, I've been for a few now. So what I'm gonna do is give you a gist of it of how the weigh head works and what I'm doing. So basically what we do is scan the lamb and then it'll come up on screen just like it is on the computer now. So it is 21.4 kilos. And basically we just press add weight there. Then we record here and that is the weight done. So guys, we're about a third of the way through. What I thought I'd do today, because it's literally just me here today, so I can't mess around filming every angle when I've got helpers. So I'm gonna give you an update as I go through them. And at the moment, I'd say the average is about 20, 21 kilos. They're putting on about 200 grams a day, which is all right, but last year was a bit better, but obviously it's a lot drier now and there's not so much good grass about, so I understand that. And also, obviously we've got the new weigh heads, so we swap weigh heads they can weigh a little differently and this should be a lot more accurate so when we come to these weighing them a second time we'll get a much more realistic um, daily live weight gain for the two so yeah that's how they're looking it's all looking really well so this is a nice shoe i'm in here weighed about 24.3 kilos and the heaviest one so far has been 31 kilos so average for 20s highest 30 but yeah looking really well <laughs> So I've just stopped again here just to explain something that's happened. So basically here we have the lightest lamb that's come through so far. So this is 15.5 kilos. But this doesn't always mean a bad thing because this lamb here, it's sorry, 15.4 on my phone, but its daily live weight gain is 250 grams a day, which is really good because this may have been born as a small lamb, but it's growing really quickly. 
So just because it's a huge lamb doesn't always mean it's performing the best. Say something that's 30 kilos but was only 25 kilos last time is actually performing worse than this little lamb here. So I just thought I'd show you that guys because I thought it was interesting. Right guys, so we're now two thirds of the way through. Well, I think we're working in thirds because I'm sure I said thirds last time, but yeah, two thirds of the way through and we've just let that group of ewes and lambs out. And that's because I like to let them stand. So they're in here. So what I do is let them stand for about half an hour so they're not running about and rubbing off the foot bath. So that is why I do that. And now we're gonna move on to why I'm actually weighing the lambs today. So we are doing the eight week weights today. So this is the second time they've been weighed. I think I said this earlier bought this next bit so basically it's really important to record the lamb's weight at eight weeks old because it shows how milky the ewes are so basically the heavier the lambs are on average across the hole means that they're performing better in the use of milky bear because basically that first initial eight weeks of growth is the performance off of the mum's milk so the lambs that are probably performing better especially twins means that they're milking better and they're probably better used so what we want to do is breed down this line to get a little bit more complicated here at the farm we performance record all the lambs for different traits so i take the weights at 8 to 16 and 21 weeks and send them off to a company called signet they go into a big database as well as the muscle and fat depth and a few other things and it'll actually score the sheep on a scale to say which are better and which are worse so this is basically called signet recording i'll keep that brief and i'll do a video in the future about it but yeah that is why we're weighing on today guys we're two thirds of the way through so i'll carry on going and i'll try and get a bit more footage for you guys of me weighing the lambs <laughs> That is all the sheep done and weighed now guys so I'm fairly happy with how that's gone I've just gone onto the app so the true test weigh head I've got it comes with a smart app it'll tell you the averages and the weight range of all the animals in one rather than with my more complicated shearer one where it'll tell you everything it don't really tell you the averages so the lambs today they average 21.2 kilos which I'm pretty happy with I think the heaviest was 31 and a half and the lightest about 15 but we had 70 odd sheep weigh between 20 and 25 ki kilos at eight weeks old so really happy with that and obviously when i talk about weights sometimes the actual bear weight doesn't matter because if you think about it it's like comparing apples and hi guys i'm just butting in here because unfortunately my mic cut out for all the videos i recorded for the rest of the day so i'm just gonna have to explain what i was on about on here with some background pictures so basically we we're just on about how lambs can weigh the same weight at seven and nine weeks basically and this just shows that the one that's younger will most likely be performing better well it will be performing better so basically it's something that's 25 kilos at seven weeks 
and another lamb is 25 kilos of weight at nine weeks. The one at seven weeks is obviously putting weight on a lot quicker than the one at nine weeks old. And that's basically what I was saying in a whole, guys. Um, but overall, the lamb's looking really well, really happy with them. And luckily, since the video, it has rained and the grass has come out a lot. So really happy with that. And the lambs are actually coming on a lot better since the video. So massive thank you for watching today, guys. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button on the video. And if you want to see more stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I do videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers, guys. I'll see you next time.